Uh, we are at beautiful Lake Powell in the Glen Canyon National Recreation Area. So Lake Powell has quagga mussels. They are an invasive small mollusk uh, about the size of your fingernail um, and they come, they were introduced on recreational watercraft. They have some really pretty bad impacts once they get introduced to a water and currently there's no way to eradicate them. They can impact fisheries and angling and recreation. They get into the water infrastructure and they block pipes and they get on dam gates that can then no longer be lifted up. They can cost millions of dollars um, in water and power infrastructure and impacts. So you must clean, drain, and dry your boat when you leave an AIS affected water and AIS means aquatic invasive species if you have been on a mussel infected water for six or more days, then you have to contact the Arizona Game and Fish Department. You have to have your boat inspected and decontaminated. So to make the inspection process go easier, um, the best thing you can do if available to you is to pull over and start the clean drain dry process on your own. So the first thing we always wanna do, and I say this for any water body, whether it has AIS in it or not, that we know of, um, is you're gonna to wanna to pull your plug to make sure that water that's collected in the bilge is gonna drain out. So we're also going to want to lower the motor and make sure that we're draining water out of the motor that's collected in there. Again, we're just clean draining and drying the boat to the best of our ability. Anchors are another huge thing that we want you to look at. Make sure that they don't have mud, plants, any organic material or any debris on them. If, if the inspector were to have found something, um, attached mussels, that we would be required to decontaminate this boat prior to leaving Lake Powell. Um, and there are some resources available. You can contact the AIS program at Arizona Game and Fish uh, to seek out those resources and we can point you in the right direction. Largely, the Western United States does not have mussel infestations and we're trying to keep it that way.